Okay, today I'm gonna to review code. The Hidden Language of Computer Hardware and Software by Charles Petzold. Okay, so this is, it's an older book. Uh, this book was written, I think in 2000. Uh, it's one of my favorite computer slash technology books that I've read. This book is really interesting. And it's trying to do something that no other books are really trying to do or have really tried to do. This book tries to take a general audience from Arabic numbers and basic math and a light circuit all the way up to software and full-fledged computers and really break down every single step of the way and what's happening and not do it with, with confusing language or you know complex terms it does it with diagrams that you can follow along and really understand and it just starts very simple and just builds and builds and builds and somewhere in the middle of the book two-thirds of the way through the book all of a sudden you realize it's a computer that he's that you understand now and you somehow you've understood every step of the way all the way up from just a simple light circuit all the way to a full-fledged circuit and computers with software and it's it's a really satisfying feeling to understand that because I think the transition from just simple circuits and switches up to a computer, it's kind of this like modern magic and not really anyone understands it other than software engineers and you know really computer oriented people. For most people they just see their cell phone and they see their computer and they just think it's magic, I have no idea how it works, it just works. Maybe you know some catchphrases or some terms like binary, transistor, you know, things like that. But you don't really get how it happens. You just know it's ones and zeros and some circuit stuff and then boom, software. And this book really takes you on that journey every step of the way. And I mean, it's, it's so satisfying for me when I read this the first time because I didn't understand it myself. And yeah, the first time I went through it, it was extremely interesting and satisfying and I, I really enjoyed this book. Uh, I will say though after it builds it builds this model and then you get to like a simple adding machine and you can understand how basic arithmetic can be done uh, with logic circuits and transistors but then it starts to get a little more complicated and you really have to spend a lot of time on the diagrams and understanding exactly what's happening because the next step takes it further and it's, it's very math-like where you have to understand all the basics to be able to understand the next step. So you definitely have to put in work to understand the book, especially at the end. But I think it, it was unbelievably satisfying for me. But yeah, don't get confused by this tiny little paperback book. It's full of uh, tons of diagrams and... I mean, it's really unbelievable. It's a very unique book to me, and I don't know many people that have read it or heard about it or really attempted to take it on. Um, it's kind of buried in Amazon. That's how I found it. I was just, I was reading a lot of technical programming books and then uh, other general technology related books. So I kind of was in bridging both worlds, and so they recommended this book to me, and that's how I discovered it, but I had never seen it or heard about it from anyone else but I mean it was uh, one of the my favorite discoveries when I found it so I, I can't recommend it enough uh, be prepared to put in the work though but if you want to understand the modern magic of computers then this is the only book that I know of that can take you on that journey at least it's not a textbook or some kind of unbelievably dense academic type of material. So definitely if you're interested in that topic, pick this book up. I loved it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe. I got some more videos coming out soon and then probably in a couple weeks you will start to see a new studio because I'm moving. So hopefully that all goes smoothly and then I'll be back up making videos soon. All right. Bye.